Hi guys, it's Kian. Today I wanted to do a wardrobe tour of the clothes that I have for my slim mini uh, Unowa size girl. And I'll be going through her whole wardrobe by the shop that made them and you'll be able to see all of it laid out uh, here. So it sort of lets you know what shops I get my stuff from and if you like them then you can consider following or supporting these shops as well and i do intend to also do a wardrobe tour for my big boys it's just that um i have a lot more clothes for them than i do for my girl so that may take a while for me to do if you'd like to see that do consider supporting me on coffee where i'll post videos on coffee first before they come on youtube so, without further ado, let's get into where I buy my slim mini girl clothes from. So, the first shop that I have is Wigmook or Foxy Brownie on Etsy. So, I have shown this particular outfit before. Um, it is the Lavender Forest that is a dress. A skirt. The skirt closes with a snap on the back. And I also have this lace jacket as well as this scarf. So, these are the items that I have from Wimook. I actually really like the shop, but I just haven't really gotten around to buying more items from them. So, this is the first place that I get my doll clothes from. The next place that I get um, doll stuff from is Sumomo. And these are where I get doll shoes from. These are the only doll shoes that I have for my girl. I don't know how well you can see them. It's a bit small. But um, these are really nice. I have had them for quite a few years. These used to be grey I believe, um, they are kind of more brownish right now and the Mary Janes are super nice, very nicely detailed uh, and they have a floral pattern inside. I just find it a bit harder to coordinate brown with my girl's wardrobe so there is that. So this is also a shop from Etsy and I'll move on to the next shop. Okay, so the third shop that I wanted to show you is Newest Design. So first we have a gauzy grey skirt. This is actually USD size. You can see her label inside. It's quite cute. This particular skirt is quite cute. Um, it was originally from a whole set that I bought off. Um, a Singaporean doll owner second hand. So the set also came with this four collar lapo thing with the pom poms. And I have these arm warmers which also fit my Inoa. So since these were part of a set, there were actually other items with it um, a sleeveless top and a striped long sleeve top, but I've sold those because they don't fit my Unowa and also I didn't really like how the stitching was on the items. I thought that they were a bit messy and uneven um, but I'm not very sure when exactly this set was made um, because she still sells items on Instagram and um, the quality might be much better now. I don't know because I haven't purchased anything from her directly so yeah, I mean, if you're particular about stitching, you might just want to take a closer look. But other than that, 
I'm quite happy with these items. The next shop that I have is Apple Bean. So there is this gauzy, creamy, off-white kind of dress. There's ruffles on the sleeve. There's two snaps in front. The label here. And also a back bow. Um, ties? Not very sure what they're called. So this is very, very nice. And it's meant for MSD, so it's slightly... Um, loose on my Unova, but I think it works out quite well when she wears it because it's not a very tight fit and since I'm going for more of a Mori style, it's alright that it's kind of loose. It's very well made though. I really like the fabric. It's very soft. And I also have this inner skirt from Apple Bean. And it's slightly more cream coloured or tea coloured than the than the dress. This is meant to be worn inside. Um, I really like this because this part of the ruffles usually show up quite well under um, the other pieces that I have. So it works really, really well with the Mori style. And yeah, I also have some... Lace socks, which are actually SD size, but um, they kind of work as loose leg warmers, I guess. So I have kept them. They are really nice and neat. I just kind of wish I actually have them in like MSD size instead, but um, I suppose it's fine. It's not that easy for me to find suitable socks for my girl. So yeah, this is, these are the items I have from Apple Bean. I'm not very sure how to buy their clothing. I bought this at a convention in Singapore when they came over quite a few years back. They do have a website though, um, but I'm not super sure how to buy this. So unfortunately, these are the only items that I have from them. Continuing with Korean clothing companies. I have a dress as well as a pinafore apron thing from uh, I think it's Isu Gongbang or Viviani. I'll put like um, the Instagram or the shop name here. But this is also something that I bought uh, in person, this time at a Korean doll convention. And it's actually Aimida 3.0 size. So the sleeves are a bit short for my Unova. Um, and the skirt is also slightly short. So it kind of... It's kind of strange for like, it's a strange length for a Maori outfit because usually those have much longer skirts. Um, but the way it's sewn is really, really pretty and the material is really, really nice. It's this like sl slightly speckled kind of, kind of like, not really linen, but a bit slightly on the rougher side of fabric. Like it still feels soft, but there's a bit more texture than some of the other cloth used in our clothing shown earlier and this one has a ruffle neck which is kind of like a mock neck as well so that's kind of cute really really nice quality items um again another one that i don't know how to buy if you don't have it uh if you don't happen to see them at a convention but really really well made the next shop is Dormo. So finally a shop that is a bit easier to order from. I have this asymmetrical um, top. There is a mock neck. There are some snaps at the... There's one snap at the back. 
a long front, holes in the shoulder, really really long sleeves, this cross, which I'm not sure whether you can see on camera because it's black as well, and I have a I have a hood as well, a very short kind of like cape hood thing, which has snips and it opens up. So it's lined. Um, the quality is pretty okay. I mean, it's not bad quality, it's just that I think the handmade nature and the stitching and everything on the earlier some of the earlier doll shops are really amazing, so this kind of just feels pretty, you know, standard by comparison. But these are actually pretty well made as well. And next we have some skirts from Taobao. So I have one black tool skirt, which is kind of an interesting patterned lace. as well as this white tool skirt, um, kind of a similar vibe, you can see. The lace is slightly different but they have a similar pattern in the construction. Um, I don't remember what shops I got them from exactly on Taobao itself, because Taobao it's kind of like it's, it's just a platform, right? It's an e-commerce platform. Um, unfortunately, I got this many years ago and I ordered it with a friend. So I don't really remember what shop I bought this from. But yeah, I basically use this as underskirts for the other dresses. And since they're two and you can see they're basically like circle skirts, they add a lot of volume underneath the skirts and usually I kind of rely on the bottom lace to give the layers for the Mori outfits. So I suppose it's possible to still find something similar on Taobao, unfortunately I don't know the shop names. And now we move on to a category of clothing that I don't know what shops they are from because I bought them second-hand so the first is this top kind of beige green grey with a flower brooch. So there's ruffles in the neck, there's ruffles here below. Um, it closes with snaps at the back. The sewing isn't the best. I mean, it's an unknown brand because there's no labels on it, but uh, the sewing isn't the best, but I really like how the top looks in general. It might have been a USD size top as well, but it fits my you know so that's the important part. The next one is this top, which I also bought secondhand, so I'm not very sure where it's from. Um, I believe it was also a USD size top and there's a lot of decorations and lace. This one is much more well made and it also comes with this ruffle thing. Not sure whether it's meant to be a headband or a necktie thing. Um, I think these two appear in one particular dress up video, you can check it out. I'll link it there. I have this triangular piece of cloth that is sort of like a shawl. I really don't know where this came from. It might have come with any of the other orders. Uh, so I just don't remember. And on the last unknown item is this pair of bloomers that my doll always wears. Uh, my dolls always have underwear, generally speaking, and this is Pebbles. So um, I realize it's a bit discolored here, but it's fine. The sewing is not that great because like, it's kind of wonky here, 
but since it's under all her layers and the main part that you see are the leg parts, it doesn't really matter. So these are the unknown items. We're moving on to the end of this wardrobe tour. There's just two more categories to go through. Uh, this is a fur collar that my friend made for me. This is Genki Yankee's knitting. <laughs> she made it for Pebble specifically. Um, so it's really cute. It kind of it goes pretty well with quite a lot of the items that I have. So you can see from the curly curly ribbon that it's been used quite a bit. And in this same handmade category, I'm going to show you all the items that I've sewn for pebbles as well. So this is interestingly enough actually the biggest the biggest um the bulk of the wardrobe I guess. So everything else has been like two, three, four pieces. There are seven items in this category. So I have seven things that I've made for pebbles. So first there is this kind of There's this kind of basic black shirt, long sleeve shirt. It's a squarish, waffly knit. It's a squarish, waffly knit. Um, and then it kind of got stretched as I saw it, so it looks like it has ruffles, but actually doesn't. And then there is a thicker material dark grey sweater that I made with unhemmed seams because this material will be too thick if I hem it and in the category of tops I also very recently made this fur vest for pebbles I haven't had the chance to show it in any videos yet, but I'm going to use it soon, I think. And there is a sort of short dress. Sort of short dress that I made. It's a little bit tight on pebbles because I made it for another doll that's 35cm. And to make it interesting, the sides are actually kind of scrunched up. I really like this material though, I still have quite a bit of this cloth. Um, I just need to figure out what to make with it. And the very first outfit that I've ever made for Pebbles is made up of this dress, this, sorry, this skirt, which is, which has very small ruffles on the bottom. Um, this is actually from some old t-shirt that we had at home, so it's an upcycled item. And it's meant to go with this dress. which is a very interesting material. Um, the front hemline is slightly shorter than the back. So this was one of the first things I made ever <laughs> for pebbles. Most of my things are hand sewn because I don't like to use the sewing machine. I'm not very good at it, so I just hand sew everything. And the last thing I have is this really long skirt. So <laughs> I don't know how much you can see, but it's a variation on a circle skirt made with a rectangular piece of fabric. So what it does is that depending on how you wear it, you can have this kind of short to long effect, or you can do it this way, you can have a short on the side and long on the center effect. 
Uh, again, a very interesting material. So this is another thing that I made. So yeah, these are all the clothes that I have. For pebbles, I didn't cover accessories because I think that's kind of difficult since all my dolls basically share accessories and secondly, it will not be very helpful in letting you know where to buy these items from since I made most of them. Um, yeah, so that's all for today's wardrobe tour. If you enjoyed today's video, please like it and comment below whether there's any particular outfit that you enjoy or maybe you want to see in a future dress up video. And for any latest updates on my videos, follow me on Coffee where I'll be posting um, things as I film and edit them. Updates on the channel are going to be a bit more sporadic nowadays um, because I've, I'm trying to change up how... I decided to change the direction of how I'm doing this channel so um, I'm not super sure how it will turn out, um, but any newest updates will be on coffee. So if you're interested in that, do follow me there. And supporters will get some exclusive or early access videos. We'll see how that works out. Everything will be mentioned on coffee because I'm still working out how things will move on in the future. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's um wardrobe tour of my girl's wardrobe. It's a relatively short one. Um, the boy's wardrobe will be much, much longer if I do get around to um, undressing all of them so that I can do this. So yeah, that will take a while. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!